All right, pretty much just completed my most recent project on our Pleasure Way on Tour 2.2, and it has to do with this thing. Now, this is a very nicely made drawer. It's got undermount rails that were made in Austria by the company Blum. Uh, but you know, it's just plain weird. Look at the shape of that thing. The hell were they thinking? And when Pleasure Way installed this, uh, and this gap here was to let the plumbing, the drain for the sink go through, when they installed this, they put it behind two doors. This door, and there was a second door that opened like that. Now to get a fork out, you'd have to stand in the most constricted part of your van, open one door, open a second door, and then reach in and pull out this stupid little drawer. Not very convenient. So my wife, being the necessity of invention, required drawers on one side. So you can really break this down into three steps. One, you move the um, water pump way over here to the left side of the cabinet, and you move the sink drain to the left side of the cabinet. That was really pretty darn easy to do. Uh, I just unscrewed the pump plate from the right side of the cabinet, pulled it over, plenty of hose to come uh, all of the way over to this side, and uh, re-screwed the plate back in. And then of course the drain's just tinker toys. You just cut and buy new little pieces and put it all back together. Step number two is to build a wall. A wall that's square front to back. And I did it with uh, half inch plywood, bought at Rockler. And uh, I could really cut it to the size once I figured it out after a couple failed attempts. Stick it in there, lean it up, and then put little mounts there. You see on the back of the wall, there's a mount down here to secure it, the mount up top side. And the third step is to build your drawers. This one's deep enough that my wife can put wine bottles standing straight up in it. That's the big drawer at the bottom. Soft close. Middle drawer is of medium size. Soft close. And the top drawer, which is going to be the junk drawer for things you really want to get to quickly. She's got to pull all her stuff in this here yet. Anyhow, because I didn't want to have to match the stain again on this project, I simply took the right door and cut it as the face of each of the individual drawers. I think it actually came out kind of neat looking. Bought these uh, satin nickel pulls at Home Depot. They were about $2.50 each. And I used rails from the Home Depot side mount, which I thought was important because with bottom mount rails, your drawer has to be a specific length because the rail attaches to the back of the drawer. With side mounts, your drawer can be an inch long and two inches short or whatever, it doesn't matter. But anyhow, that came out pretty doggone nice. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be a lot easier to get knives and forks and stuff out of here. Heavy stuff, probably put canned goods and things down in here and bottles of wine and who knows, maybe a big jug of water or something. Anyhow, that was the latest project. You probably remember my shelf for putting your piece of Corian in there, the sink cover. And I'm going to show you what I just saw today that's going to be the next project. There's a lot of room up there above the balance in the back of a van. And I already tried it, and it can fit our two camp chairs up there. So a simple strap to hold them in. And the camp chairs, which are light, can go up here. And they can come out of down here. They actually fit up there quite nice. Anyhow, I think that's what's going to go up there. Uh, thanks for watching.